Hey guys, Dr. Five here with episode number 37 of the Burton Pyramid on FIFA 21. We are kicking this episode off with a 2-0 victory against Wolves in the EFL Cup. Progressing through to the next round and we then jump into some Premier League action. Taking on Leicester at the King Power. So, it's going to be a bit of a difficult game, but Leicester are going to want their revenge for the FA Cup. But you know Leicester, they've been a bit average so far throughout this career mode, I must say, but the best chance of the half probably came there through Tammy, personally for our best chance of the game. Um, and it was blocked, and it didn't really work out the same, but Leon Bailey charging through just a few minutes later, go for another strike. Just wide of the post, he's getting really good at those kind of cutting inside and striking it. He just needs to hit it a couple of centimetres to the uh, opposite side, and it'll be bulging the back of the net. But unfortunately for now, it's going just wide or hitting the post. But 43 minutes into the game, a lovely tackle there by Dunk. Unfortunately, it's only as far as Valverde. Out wide to James Justin. He's got a couple of options to choose from. He's going to dribble past Dunk quite easily. And again, then past Tommy Asu. And that meant that in the middle, unmarked, was Munir, the Spanish striker, formerly of Barcelona, I do believe. But because, yeah, because Dunk and Tommy Asu got drawn in by James Justin, he was there in the middle, unmarked, and just easily tapped it one in past Sam Johnson with one nil down to Leicester. Not what we want, but we have got a whole 45 minutes to try and get back in front as Cunha is going to try and do exactly that as he skips past Savage quite easily. Knocks it through to Tammy. Tammy then back inside to Mwepu, through to Leon Bailey, goes for the strike. Not really any power on it, and he would have been offside anyway. Really got to be a bit, getting a bit more power on that, even if you are offside, because that could have been the chance to get back into the game, but unfortunately not. And again, defenders being drawn out of position. Aspas this time, another striker from Spain, this time formerly of Liverpool, we can say. And with two no down, the Spanish strikers have done us dirty in this one. Defensively, we've been all over the place. Two centre-backs rushing out, missing tackles. Just not what we'd normally do. Maybe the pressure got to him in this game because we are so flying so high up in the league. But 77 minutes into the game, another little bit of skill there by Leon Bailey. And again, denied by the goalkeeper. And it's still 2-0. And Leon Bailey just needs to get that clinical edge to his game. And he'll be an absolutely brilliant winger because he's got the skill. He's got the dribbling ability, the passing ability. He just needs that finishing edge because he's had three or four chances in this game. And he's not scored any of them. Again, denied by the keeper there. And again, the game is going to end as a 2-0 loss to Leicester. And, uh, you know, quite embarrassing, really. We should be winning this type of game. Trossard doing stuff like that. You know, he doesn't normally do that. You know, it's just it's just one of those days. The players aren't playing well. Just got to live with it, learn, move on to the next game. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Send in the rotational boys out to play Midgetland. Obviously, last time out, it was 2-2. This time, we're at the Amex. And this time, we want to punish them for... I'd say an embarrassing result, really, all things considered. And with Kaylee playing the ball through to Alzate six minutes into the game, kaylee has gone and got two goals and one assist in the Euro uh, Euros in the Europa League already. So he's one to watch out for. One to watch for him. Alzate, they're getting a goal, which is nice to see. Obviously, he's returned from his loan. And we're not done there because 10 minutes in, another chance. This time, Alzate going to look to provide the ball to the back post in Kaylee on the volley. Well saved actually by the keeper, but Gareth Bale is in the middle to tuck it home. And our Welsh winger makes it 2-0, doubles the lead, gets, I think, his first goal for the club, I think. And, uh, yeah, doubles the lead. We're cruising in this game, but we're not done there because 10 minutes into the game, Riyad Mahrez on his right foot. You know, if you remember in the last game, last time we played Midgetland, Mahrez missed a really easy chance on his right foot. You know, in training, he's obviously been learning on that one. And this time, he's, he, it's a really nice finish from him. We're now 3-0 to the good. And we are cruising with bruising them. We're smashing them up. And Riyad Mahrez isn't done there as he ox on the ball. Knocks it through to Gareth Bale. Going to look to get his second of the game as he strikes it on his left foot. But the keeper does deny him the chance. But we're not done there. Because we have another chance here from Moda into Mahrez. Looking to turn his man. Does so. Knocks it through to our Polish wing back. Kaylee's really unfortunate there. He just didn't, didn't get the right connection on that one. And he has denied the chance of a first goal in this game and a third goal overall. But Adarabayo takes out his man. The referee deems it to be a red card. I wouldn't say so. I'd say a yellow at, at worst. But the referee deems it something else. We've got to agree with that. He is the referee. And we've got to live on and learn. As Kaylee has another chance. And again, it is denied by the keeper. And they've 
gone on the counter-attack and a long ball tactic seems to have worked for them nicely as Mabil to the back post to Avan, the great save from Sam Johnson to deny the first effort and then he easily catches the second one. Still 3-0 to the good, he wants that clean sheet in this one and it looks like he might be getting it but unfortunately Mabil with the ball going to go for another little pass to Cool. as Cool skips past Ampadu with a nice little La Croqueta into Mabil looking to turn his man, he plays it to Cool. Cool turns the Polish wing back inside out, back to Mabil, Mabil on the ball, no one can tackle him, he plays it to the back post and Pinone Sislo is there, former Celta Vigo man, former Wonder Kid and he kind of just dropped off really which is unfortunate to see but he did drop off as Kaylee plays the ball through to Patrick Rose and our young academy right back continues the tradition of academy players scoring in the Europa League. He makes it 4-1. He runs over to his, let's say it's his father, who's watched for the game. And we did win the game. I think that is us through to the next round. We have absolutely smashed this group. We're undefeated. We have not kept many clean sheets, but we're doing good as we have a bit of transfer business as we do come closer to January. It is going to be for Jacob Molder. They have offered us 15.8 million. This is Valencia in the Spanish League. We went for 22 and a half, just trying to kind of test the waters, see how much we could get for him. Um, he is 23, pretty young, 76 overall, but he is not in our first team plans. And we go for a slightly less of 21 and a half, and they did accept that. So we will be saying goodbye to the Polish midfielder. Um, obviously, we've got a lot of rotation in that midfield. We've got the Ox, we've got Alzate, we've got um, Mwepu, Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Got a couple of boys out on loan as well. So we don't really need him, unfortunately, for himself. But Connolly having the first chance in this game against Crystal Palace. And he mishits it. He shanks it wide of the post. And the game remains at nil. No, 17 minutes in. Another chance for coming in the game. And it's time. it is going to be for Crystal Palace. as Grimes on the ball. Plays it past into the middle of Alaria. A little one-two between them works really nicely. Somehow Tosin Adarabaya doesn't make contact with the ball there. And Alaria goes through. And it makes it 1-0 to Crystal Palace. Obviously this is a rivalry game. We want to be on our best. And we don't want to be going 1-0 down. Really unfortunate that Adarabaya didn't actually make any contact with the ball there. But we've got to move on. And we've got to hope that we can get a goal back in this one. As Lamptey leaves space out wide for Serdar. He's going to play inside to Grimes again to McCarthy. Little deflection, really fortunate, finds Grimes. Again through to Alaria. This time he lays it off to Hudson Adoy with a lovely little, just the daintest of touches. Finds Hudson Adoy and he slots it past Sam Johnson. And we are 2 0 down to Crystal Palace. And it's Callum Hudson Adoy once again. I don't know how many times he's scored against us in this save, but it seems like too many. Basically, as 37 minutes into the game, we're going to have a chance for our own again, this time through Connolly, and he's going to strike it. Just pure power. No real precision on that one. At the near post, beats the goalkeeper, and we have halved the deficit. It is 2-1, and we've now got 45 minutes to try and get back into this one. And with the ball finding Mares out wide, just two minutes into the second half, he skips into the box. Mitchell takes him out. Tyreek Mitchell, that is the left back for Palace, takes him out. Referee deems it to be a penalty. It was inside the box. It's going to be Cunha stepping up. He's going to go for that top right-hand corner. And Gaita, one of the better keepers in the league, makes the save. Denies us the chance of getting back on level terms. And will we, will we live to uh, to regret that miss? Well, the cross there from Trossard falls into the box. It's going to be a corner for ourselves. You know how deadly we are. We're more deadly from corners than we are penalties. And with Lewis Dunk, the captain, scoring against the rival team, that's exactly the player you want to score. We're back on level terms. We've removed the deficit. We now have half an hour to go on and win this game. With the quality of our squad, we've got to be winning this type of game against our rivals. But we lose the ball with 10 minutes remaining. It finds Harry Winks in the middle. Paulson, Yusuf Paulson, skips past Adarabai, who's been like a deer on ice in this game. And that results in Yusuf Paulson running for on goal. One-on-one -on -one with Sam Johnson. And he makes it 3-2 to Palace. They win the game. And I've got to put this game squarely on Adarabayo. He missed the ball for the first chance. He missed the ball for the third goal. And we lose the game. And after we've got a bit of transfer business, obviously we listed Riyad Mahrez in the summer. No one came in for him. And it seems like Atleti are interested in a attacking midfielder. They're going to offer 55.5. We tried to get 62.5. It didn't quite work out. We did accept their deal in the end. And he's going to be going in the winter. So we do need a new rotation attacking midfielder. 
Comment down below some players that we can get for that rotational attacking midfielder spot. Obviously, in the first team, we've already got Bailly, we've got Cunha and Trossard. So, Mares wasn't even a first team player. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, please like, subscribe and peace.